when the Constitution was being proposed, James Madison came in with a plan. And because he was the representative from Virginia, we often call this the Virginia plan, sometimes also the big state plan, because Virginia was a big state. He proposed a number of different provisions, including a two-chamber legislature, both chambers being elect, being um, appointed with proportional representation, meaning that larger states would have more representatives in both chambers, a single executive, sometimes called a unitary executive, a court that would be appointed by the legislature, and a very strong federal government. So strong it could actually use the military to enforce federal law if states chose not to go by it. Then um, Representative William Patterson from New Jersey said, no, 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 wait a second, and proposed a counter plan. This plan uh, favored small states like New Jersey. So we sometimes call it the small state plan. In this plan, he proposed a single chamber legislative legislature with equal representation. So each state would have one vote. That obviously favored small states because in a plan with proportional representation, smaller states would get fewer votes than bigger states. There would be a plural executive. That means more than one president. The proposal uh, didn't specify, though most proposals at the time suggested three presidents. So sort of like the Roman triumvirate, which if you know your Roman history, that didn't work out well, um, but they were trying it again. There would be a court appointed by the executive and a very weak federal government, really a federal government very much like what we had under the Articles of Confederation, but with the key change that they could impose taxes on states. Clearly, these plans didn't agree with each other. So what we ultimately ended up with was a compromise between the two. This compromise proposed a two-chamber legislature. Why two? Well, because you can't really have one and a half. And it allowed for a good compromise between proportional representation on the one hand and equal representation on the other. So this two-chamber legislature would have one chamber, the House, with proportional representation. Larger states would have more representatives. And one chamber, the upper chamber, the Senate, with equal representation, where each state would have the same number of representatives. In this case, two senators per state. They did not compromise on executives. They chose the Virginia Plan's unitary executive, one executive. And this was a really important decision, which we're gonna talk quite a bit about when we get to our discussion of the presidency in unit two. But the main reason was accountability. Um, if you have a plural executive, it's hard to hold them accountable. Another good reason was basically what caused the Roman triumvirate to fail is you can't, you, you have to get people to agree, right? You have to get suddenly three people to agree. So there are massive collective action problems if they disagree with each other. So one executive took care of that. But again, we'll talk much more about that and the three reasons outlined by Hamilton um, when we get there. Now, the court would be appointed by the executive like the New Jersey plan proposed, but with the advice and consent of the legislature borrowing from the Virginia plan. Finally, there would be a strong federal government, but not nearly as strong as the Virginia plan recommended, though not nearly as weak as the New Jersey plan recommended. This federal government would have the power to tax and a strong military, though not one that could be used against the states in the way that Virginia, the Virginia plan proposed. There would also be stronger trade powers and quite a bit overall of power for the federal government to overrule states. To prevent that federal government from becoming tyrannical, like the British government had become, there would be checks and balances put into place. If you want to learn more about these checks and balances, specifically the system of separating powers among these three branches of government, check out that video. <laughs>